how to create infinite carousel loop in Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video I'm going to show you how simple and easy it is to create a carousel loop into your Wix Studio website. So we are going to head over to uh, Wix.com, sign in for an account and then we are going to uh, see our websites that we have created of course into this account. So this is an example on the screen, you can visualize it. So basically we are going to select one of the websites that we have in here that has the tag or the label of built on Wix Studio. Focus on that. If you do not have a built on Wix Studio website, click on create new and try Wix Studio. Click on edit, select and edit. Now we are going to wait for a few seconds. Boom. Now we are going to make sure that either we are going to be on the setup or the homepage. Then we can access the button of the edit site. Click on it and it is to go to load up the website of yours. Now what we're going to do from here is basically to create a section and that section is going to be containing some photos or some uh, pictures. So we are going to add a section here. This section should be blank and we're going to add some elements either from here or from here. So we're going to click on add elements. We're going to click on images. And we're going to choose the format of the image. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. For example, like that. And we're going to duplicate that image by clicking on the three dots in here. And we're going to have duplicate or control D. So we are going to have the image. I'm going to make them uh, duplicated control D. Going to have it just like that. So I'm going to make sure that I'm going to have at least the same amount or the same gaps that we are going to have between uh, each one of the images. I think that this one is bigger. It is the biggest gap. Here we are going to increase it or decrease it a little bit. Boom. Like that. Now what I am going to do is to distinguish each one of the images in here and I'm going to change it. So I'm going to change the image. Click on Wix. We are going to select one of the images. Do not worry about the resolution. It is going to be the same for every one of the images that we have created. I am going to have this one. So I'm going to change the other images like this. Change it. So we are going to make them at least distinguishable. So I have this and finally this one. This method is going to be, um, let's say, available for images and also for texts. So we are going to show you here the right method. So I'm going to change the image in here. So I'm going to see something else like this coffee beans or these coffee beans. Now what I am going to do basically is to have the images clicked or um, I'm going to press uh, or click on the image, press shift, select all the images that we have, the four of them, and we're going to stack them. So as you can see, this is the stack. Now I am going to have them just like that. And we're going to have another image or another duplicate, which is going to be like that. So you're going to see that we're going to have some options. Now like this and we're going to have a, this stack with that stack boom i'm going to stack them together so we have one stack now what we're going to do is to select the stack click on the inspector click on animation and effects we're going to focus on loop click on loop Animations will play in a loop. We're going to click on add and now we're going to select the cross. Click on the animation of the cross. As you can see, we have created the loop effect. So it is not going to stop until we are going to put a delay for it. Now I'm going to click on adjust animations and then we're going to select the direction, duration and the repeat delay. So I'm going to have the duration of it as two seconds. The directions is going to be from the left. The repeat delay is going to be just like that. Click on preview and see. 
duration is going to be a little bit here off. So we are going to have this much or that much. So here we have it. Now I can go ahead and do that also for the text. I'm going to let you see how it is going to be done. Uh, so we are going to head over here, add some elements. We're going to add title. Now we are going to make it a little bit like this. I'm not going to make this text a uh, big like that. So we're going to select the title as heading three, for example. I'm going to uh, put here this title like that. I'm going to duplicate it by pressing uh, Control D like that. Control D like this. Or I can go ahead and type or click press, I mean Alt, and we can go ahead and have it just like that. So we are going to have everything set up. Select each one of the texts together, stack them. And we're going to apply the uh, animation. You head over uh, the uh, loop. I'm going to show you from the beginning. Animation, loop, add, cross. You're going to see it crossing. And here we have the, um, as you can see, the effect. Now, what I am going to do basically is to have this uh, specific animation or the loop animation created in two effects or two uh, different directions. I'm going to show up here or have the, a little bit of the space. What I'm going to do is to add some images or I can go ahead and have one of these stacks. I'm going to duplicate it, put it here. As you can see, it is going to be like that. So we are going to see here where is the gap. So I'm going to have another Let's say here uh, images or image. I can go ahead and have it just like that. So I'm going to have this one. So let's go ahead and have another stack. I'm going to duplicate it also. So I'm going to have it just like that. Now what I am going to do basically is to either select or change the images that we have. And we are going to put here the stack everything together click on the element inspector loop add effect cross we're going to see that we have this specific as you can see gap now what I am going to do is basically to head over here and see the other gap that we have so I can go ahead and cover it I'm going to have another gap or another section added these show up so we are going to have them together like this so normally we are going to have to find the gap and here it is so we are going to connect them together just like that now i'm going to put the stack this with that stack them together also we're going to apply the effect of the loop. Boom. As you can see, we are going to have the loop. So the duration is going to be a little bit, um, let's say, modified. We are going to have here the duration. It is going to be, uh, let's say, um, increased by uh, having the cursor uh, put or pulled to the right side. And here you have it. So we are going to have the animation in here. So we are going to uh, put the preview for everything and we're going to see the result. The section is going to be a little bit of a speed in here. It is going to be a supersonic speed and we do not have that. We do not want this to happen. So normally it is going to be just like this. But here sometimes it is going to be uh, something uh, tricky. So the sections or the layouts are going to be a little bit of trick. This is the text as you can go ahead and use it as an announcement bar or something like that. So aside from that, you can go ahead and have another website um, like Elf site. You can go ahead and have Elf site, for example, Elf site. So we can go ahead and create a, um, 
the infinite effect on of sight we can go ahead and head over the widgets then we are going to have the tools like the uh, logo showcase and it is going to create something like this and it is going to be something uh, more more natural and also more organic so it is going to be something like this you can go ahead and have the control of it and it is going to be maybe a, a little bit cleaner or inorganic a little bit i am going to show you how you can have this specific widget installed into your uh, wix studio website after you have set up the logos or the images set up the layout as you can see of, of this specific uh, widget like the logo sizing and etc with the spacing between logos and etc also with the uh, styles of the background the fonts and uh, everything click on publish close install copy the code of the embedded code head over here add another section on your uh, wix studio website and add an element that element should be from the embedded or embed in social click on embed code plus or add to your website enter the code in here select all of the text delete it and paste your text click on update and boom so it is going to have here the logo showcase put here and boom. So as you can see, this is going to be something um, uh, different from the one that we have created. And go ahead and hide in the logo um, here, but you need to have the premium plan. But it is going to be something that it is very resembling. You can go ahead and create it without anything. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content. And I hope to see you soon on the next one.